Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Tonight we're just gonna chat because I said to Jim, I says, what shall I talk about? And he says, I don't know, what shall we talk about? I don't know what we shall talk about. And then we started talking about um, how it's getting harder and harder to find things in the store. He stopped at Dollar General. We have a Dollar General store in our, in our town and it, we've only had it for maybe a year and a half, two years. I don't think it's been there very long. Not very long. But um, he, Emily, my, hello Emily, you poor dear. Um, <laughs> she's working. She's working? Oh, yeah. okay, she's at her second job. She has two jobs, only because I insist that she has two jobs. But anyways, Emily's phone stopped working yesterday. She comes down and she br brings her Landline phone. Her landline phone, yes. we. Well, she still has one because I insist that she has to have one of those too. Boy, I'm a bossy mom. <laughs> yep, yeah. he's a green. <laughs> Anyways, her cat. She's got a cat that she wasn't supposed to get. She got that cat a long time ago, and the darn cat chews her phone wires. This isn't all the wires. well. It chews all the wires, but it seems like the phone is the one it constantly is chewing. And um, this is not the first time. So she came down with her phone, the wire that plugs into the wall and to the phone, and it was in two pieces. And she says, "Do you think Dad can fix this?" Well, of course he fixed it. And she went home and she plugged it in. And so I tried her phone, and she still didn't have a phone. So I used um, Messenger, I think it's through Facebook. Mm -hmm. I can message her, because she does have the internet, so I can message her and say that, you know, your phone's still not working, that's not good. And she goes, well, it's behind the big unit and she can't move it, and oh, a lot of excuses why she can't do it. If it were me, I would have cleared it off, I would have climbed up into the unit, I would have looked down below, I would have figured out why my phone wasn't working. But she and she says, well, maybe Dad will have to fix it. Of course Dad will fix it. Well, today I called Jim and I says, you know, I called Emily's phone again and it's still not working. It just rings and rings and rings. And after the six rings, if it was working, it would have gone to the answering machine. But it's not working. So he came home, got the key, because he also, I also wanted him to turn the heat on up in the apartment house because I, I want to make sure that, that apartment stays nice upstairs to just put the radiators on on um, the number one so he did that and he went to Emily's and he um, helped her take down some of her wired her things that she uses with wires and they were okay because um, she will be moving into the other little house that I have it's a real cute little one family home it's a it's a really sweet little home. It's the one that I said I, I was going to live in if it was if I was by myself. Yeah, Bob, <laughs> I'm not killing him off though. <laughs> oh, no, he's not dying. Um, <laughs> at least I hope not either. Because boy, if he does, I'm in trouble. Um, so she was packing up a few things, and come to find out, it was the cord. Can I have one of those cords? It was a cord that um, actually it was one of these kind of cords. I've got it tied up. I actually have, um, I had three of them. I had three different lengths. I have this one that's not, that's kind of long. It's an RJ45 phone cord. It's an RJ45 phone cord. <laughs> no. no? No. No. RJ11. RJ11. Got to get it RJ11. right. Well, anyways, it plugs into the phone, plugs into the jack in the wall, and that's what the cat had chewed, one of these. So he went to the store to see if he could buy this. Well, the store doesn't have them. So he comes home and he says, do we have any? And of course, I save everything. you got to know that I save. I have so much stuff. And I said, yeah, I have. Here's, here's another one. Here's another one. And plus, we put one on her, so I had four. Um, but anyways, he put that on for her, so now her phone, and then he called me to let me know that the phone's working, which is good, it is working. 
And so that's what he had to do today. He had to go and help fix Emily's phone. So she has a phone. But what I was thinking of, this whole thing about the phone, oh my goodness, was that there's things that you want to buy. The stores don't the stores don't have them anymore. When we went to buy our landline phone, I want because my other one wasn't holding the charge anymore. The battery wasn't battery was kind of deadish. In fact, that's the one I was going to give her, but it still worked. And cordless um, landline. it's a cordless landline. And when we went into the store to look for the for the landlines, they had just maybe four foot of space in their store that had just those yeah, phones. phones and they only had six yeah about six, six choices to choose from it's like my goodness everybody's gone sell to the cell phone or to like I have a little track phone in fact I put time on it today and we were just figuring how much that costs because if you had the AARP and then he tells me that doesn't work in our area so I guess oh. that's they're ten dollars a month but my little track phone I pay twenty dollars every three months so it really only costs me about $6.66 a month to have it, whereas the AARP one would be $10 a month, but it doesn't work in our area, so it wouldn't do me any good. So um, that's what we were, that's where this whole thing was going towards, <laughs> the fact that you can't buy things. They're not in the store. It went way around, oh, I know, around in a circle. <laughs> then yeah. while he was out frying, because we had hamburgers tonight, he goes, what are, you, are you planning anything? And I says, for what? <laughs> My poor husband, I don't... I said, if I was going to cook and be already started, it would be in the crock pot cooking. I had no plans. I didn't know what we were going to have tonight. And he says, well, he was thinking he'd have hamburgers. So he went outside and he grilled a whole bunch of hamburgers. So that's what we had tonight. We had a lot of hamburgers. While he was out grilling, I was watching movies from... There's movies on YouTube that that was in my suggested area, which I was surprised to find. So I watched one about two people that were dying. It was it was actually very good. Um, so you should really try to live your life like it's your last day or your last few months or something. So enjoy yourself. Do the things that you want to do. And um, have fun. And then I watched a movie about uh, another one where they were praying for water. And what it was is there was people that were stopping the water from being delivered to the farmers because they had these little fish that they were trying to keep alive because they were in the endangered species. So all the humans were going to die if they didn't get water. But the fish will live. And um, people were going to jail because they were stealing water. And then come to find out it was some big corporation that was buying up all the land because they wanted to control all that land. And it ended up a happy ending, so they end up getting their water. And the other story, the, nobody died in it, but they were, she, the girl was in the hospital. And um, the guy was, they were both dying, and they both didn't know it because they weren't, weren't divulging it. They had met at a college college seminar where it was on death and dying in your final days of life, you know, talking about that stuff. And that's where they met. And they pretended they were doing it for insurance companies or something so that they could help people when it came to that time of life. Well, while he was out... <laughs> I went all the way around. While he was outside doing the um, burgers, I was inside folding paper. Remember... This is this is this came in the mail today, and it's just junk mail to me. It's all it's a portfolio for like your your um, investments or something. And I think, what do they send these for? I don't know what to do with them. I don't read them. But do you remember when? Um, maybe you don't remember, or maybe you do. It depends. If you have the the TV guides, remember how the TV guides were? They were about this size. And we used to fold them like this and make the Christmas tree, and then we'd paint them and, and play around. Or we would use um, the Reader's Digest magazines. They were like this. The fuller the magazine, the, the fuller the tree was. Like this tree is kind of, it's, it's okay, but it's kind of not real full. But, and it stands up, and you can put it, and you can decorate it if you want to and whatever. But it was just kind of fun. It's just 
kept me entertained while I was listening to the movie and watching the movie and waiting for Jim to come in with the burgers. Okay, I guess I'm done talking. <laughs> All were right. Really good. Uh, yeah, the burgers were good. They, I had three. I probably could eat four, but I was, I was, uh, three was enough. And it's just plain burgers, no bread because you're not supposed to have bread. And I don't like ketchup, salt. and I, I just put salt on mine. I don't like ketchup on mine. I don't want, I don't want, I don't want anything on it. I like it plain. I'm a plain kind of food person of that stuff. In fact, I never would um, when we would go. Oh. Might as well go on to it before I say goodbye. When we would go to like um, McDonald's or anything, we used to get the plain burger and a lot of times we didn't feel like waiting for it. So then you had to scrape the stuff off of it. And I remember my son, Michael. Hi, Michael. <laughs> I'll say hi to you too. He hated onions. He, used to, he could pick out an onion. Uh, it, it was The onions were so invisible a lot of times in foods, but he would find them, and he, they would be all along the edge of his dish. Well, um, when we would get the burgers there, they would always be plain. I didn't want a pickle on it. I didn't want lettuce on it. I didn't want cheese on it. I didn't want onions on it. I didn't want ketchup or mustard or nothing. Just plain. So that's what we had, plain. Back then, we did have the buns. But and we it. did eat the buns then, yes. I did eat them. And Not then as, now. And now I don't, no. In fact, I don't even go to McDonald's. When I was working there, they actually gave me free food, which was uh, uh, very... I had to fight for it. <laughs> I had to... I said, you guys don't have any any benefits to make me want to stay. At least give me free food. And they said, oh, you don't get free food? And I said, no. And so finally, I got free food. So I had I used to make um, salads with I used to cut up the burger in the salad and the little old ladies and the people that were there I used to eat with them out in the dining room. They would see what I would do and then they would do the same thing because it looked good and so that's how I used to eat my burger. I used to eat cut it up on the salad and eat it that way. And if I wanted the nuggets, which once in a while I had the nuggets, I would cut them up and put them on the salad too. But I always put a lot of extra Romano cheese or not Romano. They had Parmesan cheese. And I used to put the extra cheese on it because I could go back and make my own salad. And so that's what I did. Well, okay, I'm done now. Now I am done. So I hope you all had a great day and have a great tomorrow. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.